1964 proof Kennedy half dollar. Graded as PR68 plus deep cameo by PCGS. According to PCGS, the 1964 proof Kennedy half dollar was the first year of issue for the series. Examples without cameo or deep cameo surfaces are the most common. In grades up PR68 or lower they are easy to obtain. With cameo surfaces they are much scarcer. And with deep cameo surfaces they are even more scarce in all grades. This plus designated specimen fetched a sum of $1,003.50 with buyer's fee. Number 7. 1971 S. Lincoln sent graded as PR69 deep cameo by PCGS. The 1971 S. Proof Lincoln sent is common in most grades. However in PR69 deep cameo it is scarce and much scarcer than several other proof Lincoln cents from the 1960s or 1970s in PR69 deep cameo. It was sold for $1,237.50 with buyer's fee. Number 6. 1968 Washington Quarter in MS-68 condition. According to the NGC Price Guide, as of November 2023, a Washington Quarter from 1968 in circulated condition is worth between 30 cents and 85 cents. However, on the open market 1968 quarters in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $3,750. This one ended up selling for $1,327.50 with buyer's fee. Number 5. 1951 S. Jefferson Nickel in MS-66 plus condition with full steps. Lively satin luster shines forth powerfully from both sides of this brilliant and beautiful gem. From a mintage of 7,776,000 pieces, the lowest among post-1950 circulation strike issues in the Jefferson Nickel series. This elusive specimen was sold for $1,680. Number 4. Here is 1940 Jefferson Nickel with reverse of 1938. According to Stax Bowers, this is a breathtakingly beautiful example of a rare and conditionally challenging hub variety. Lovely bright silver surfaces are untoned save for the lightest iridescent gold highlights that are not readily evident at all viewing angles. Otherwise brilliant in finish, we note subtle frosting to the central devices that provide some measure of cameo contrast as the coin rotates under a light. It was sold for $4,440. Number 3. 1986 Lincoln sent in MS-69 red condition. MS-69 represents a near-perfect condition on the Sheldon scale, but it's not as rare or valuable as coins in higher grades like MS-70. Keep in mind that coin values can fluctuate over time, so it's a good idea to consult with a coin dealer or numismatist for the most up-to-date information. This specimen ended up selling for $14,062.50 with buyer's fee. Number 2. 1976 S. Kennedy half dollar in MS-69 condition. According to Jamie Hernandez from PCGS, the 1976 S. uncirculated silver bicentennial half dollars were only sold by the U.S. Mint in a three-piece bicentennial mint set for that year. Additionally, this is also a one-year type coin as the reverse design was changed in 1977. According to the NGC price guide, as of November 2023, a Kennedy half dollar from 1976s in circulated condition is worth between $3.40 and $3.90. However, on the open market 1976s silver half dollars in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $12,500. This numismatic gem ended up selling for $16,312.50 with buyer's fee. Number 1. 1923 S. Lincoln sent in MS-65 red condition. According to Stax Bowers, full red gem 1923 S. should not be overlooked. The reverse is sharply defined apart from a bit of weakness in the right wheat kernels and both sides possess outstanding luster in a warm medium rose shade. Remarkably smooth, as well, it is little wonder that this impressive gem ranks among the finest examples of the issue known to PCGS thanks to widespread hoarding of circulated coins during the 1940s and 1950s. The 1923S is more plentiful in the lowest numismatic grades than a relatively limited mintage of 8,700,000 pieces might imply. Higher grade examples in the VF to AU range are scarce, however, while in mint state this issue ranges from scarce to rare depending upon striking quality and surface preservation. It was sold for $31,200. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Have a good one.